Hello and welcome to this VSuite version 0.3 video tutorial and in this video tutorial I'm just going to cover how to set up multiple zones with Envy for simulation with Energy Plus. So I'm going to start pretty much where I left off uh, from the last video tutorial uh, where we set up a simple airflow network for our zone uh, but that was just one zone and I'm going to make it now uh, a two zone simulation. I've tested up to 20 zones, I think, but um, I don't know what the hard limit is in Energy Plus, but it could be even higher than that. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do two zones. So to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to duplicate the original zone and I'm going to move it and uh, I'll probably use the snapping tool within Blender just to move it uh, to a point. So it matches up with my uh, previous zone. So uh, in a way, if we now just did a NV geometry export, these two, I'm just gonna get rid of the lamp. Uh, these two zones will now be exported. So if I do that, so if I'm down here, NV Geometry Export, if I now export that, and I go to Layer 2, I now see that I've got both objects in there. Um, what I uh, might do, actually, is just... Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm just going to make, because I've got this um, from the previous videos, I've got this um, extruded wall section here, which does not appear in my Energy Plus geometry conversion, because I haven't specified an NV construction material for those faces. So that gives me a slight mismatch in these walls when I look at the actual Energy Plus model. So what I'll do just to make my life a little bit simpler is I'm just gonna move this object instead to line up with that vertex. Uh, okay fine so I geometry export that I look at layer one and now I can see yeah, I've got a pretty seamless matchup of the boundary between the two zones. Now I could then go through um, the process of doing an NV simulation. You'll see I've got a new zone node down here. I might just open up this window a second. I've got a new zone node, which has all the same sockets as the uh, original zone node, because it's just a duplicate of that zone. Uh, so I could, if, if I'm saying that the occupancy is the same for this new zone and the HVAC schedule is the same for this new zone. Um, I guess I could even say that um, my... Uh, now I can't drag multiple linkages into a socket. I can have multiple linkages coming out of a socket. So what I might just do, I might just copy that. Put that over there. I'm going to drag that one in there. So these two zones now have the same HVAC, same occupancy. Um, they have different control types at the moment, but I'll leave it as different control types. Um, and they have the same subsurface flows applied to their opening windows. So that's kind of the convenience of the, one of the really nice things about the nodal system is that you can just copy paste um, or duplicate nodes and then attach them to a new zone and all the old settings from the old zone are then uh, applicable to the new zone so you don't have to go into a new interface and redesignate all these things. Um, so once that's done the only thing I, I might want to say is uh, okay that's a perfectly valid two zone model now but what if I want energy transfer or heat transfer across that boundary partition uh, and in that case what I can do is I can 
select the face of one object, which is the boundary to the other. And oh, I'll do this in, uh, I should do all this in layer one because I'm doing geometry manipulations. Um, this boundary zone, this boundary surface between these two zones, I want to give that a new material. So I'm going to give that a new slot. I'm going to select the walls material, but I'm now going to add a new material. And that duplicates walls and creates a new material, which I'm going to call party walls. So party walls will have all the same characteristics as the original walls material, but for this party walls material, I want to turn on intrazone boundary. Uh, so that will tell Energy Plus, or that will tell Envy, that that is a boundary surface. Um, if I go out of edit mode there, come into edit mode on this one, pick that same face, and again, I'll create a new material slot, assign it to this face, and I just want to pick party walls. I don't have to create the material again, once I've created it once, it's in Blender's material database. So uh, that surface now has party walls, and this surface now has party walls. Uh, so when I now press geometry export, my zones, or at least one of my zones, why is only one of, one of my zones correctly has this new party walls socket. My other zone, however, does not. So let me just check that I did my material specification correctly. EN cube is fine and EN cube 001 is not picking up. Oh, I didn't select party walls. Okay, didn't assign it. So let's do geometry export again. Now we see both our zones have got this new brown socket which is the boundary socket. And all I have to do then is connect that boundary socket to that boundary socket. Uh, so Envy will now write out to the Energy Plus input file the fact that these two zones are connected thermally via um, this boundary surface. So once I've done that, I can now export the whole scene again and press calculate again. I've now got two zones so it takes kind of twice as long but it's still a pretty simple model so it's not taking a huge amount of time and when that's done then if I go into my zone node. I now should have two zones or I can check the heating and cooling. Um, and I should have in my linkage, I should have now four linkages because I've got four windows so I can see the airflow coming in or going out of each of those windows. Um, so I think that's uh, pretty much all I have to say. Um, obviously, if you're going to reuse nodes for different zones, um, we can get a bit of a spaghetti junction, but there's nothing stopping you from copy pasting or duplicating these two nodes and then giving them individual connections to each of your zones just to organize the uh, kind of uh, zone layout a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, thanks for watching.